Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Tasmania. And this was created in 1982 by Stern Electronics. And it's almost like uh, Robotron 2084 that you can get uh, surrounded by enemies. And uh, you can fire in eight different directions. But this is not a double joystick game. This is, uh, you have one joystick and a fire button and... Uh, you can hold down the fire button and move the joystick in those directions. You know, in whatever direction you want to fire in, and it'll release a stream of rapid fire, which is nice. But uh, this has nothing to do with the 90s uh, cartoon Tasmania, <laughs> which had the uh, Tasmanian Devil from the Warner Brothers cartoons, and he's not in this game. But uh, I don't know if the character you control is supposed to be a Tasmanian Devil or not. He's green. I don't know what he is, but... Um, Gunners Lesitis and Chris Oberth were the ones who uh, uh, programmed this game. But um, I saw this at, I think, a couple of arcades. The one I remember seeing it at most was uh, Chuck E. Cheese. It's not a bad game. Like I said, it's a little like Robotron. There are a series of rooms that you get to enter. And, um, well, you automatically enter them. And in each room, there will be a bunch of non-moving enemies. They will just sit there. And uh, you need to destroy all those enemies before you move on to the next screen. And each room has a different type of special monster that is native to that room and the game will tell you what this kind of monster is as you enter the room and the monster monsters may actively pursue you or they may just bounce around the room but um, there will also be walls that close in slowly and if you get trapped by the walls you are dead and we'll get started this is the face room, and it just has these faces that slowly start to move towards you. The walls will not kill you by touching them. Don't, uh, don't let another stern game berserk fool you. They will kill you in that game, but they will not kill you in this game. But they will squish you if you take too long. It's, it's pretty easy to uh, take out all the enemies generally, especially early on before the walls can crush you. And now we're in the uh, evil eyeball room. And we have eyeballs that just bounce around. They don't actively pursue, pursue you. You have bombs as a secondary weapon. And they are limited in use. And I only have two of them in reserve. And uh, the bombs will not only kill all the... Uh, all the... Uh, whoa! I had to use a bomb. That will slow the walls down. It will not only kill all the uh, big enemies, but it will also uh, slow down the walls. And this was a bonus round. You collect the numbers, and they represent uh, 100 points times the number. And uh, this is the uh, squid room. And the squids will stop, and they will be invulnerable to your fire when they stop. But, uh, yeah, that bonus room also has bombs that you can collect. You know, spare bombs. And now we go to the sickle room. Contact with any of the stationary enemies is deadly. The sickles kind of uh, move in a odd pattern. I don't think... They kind of, kind of pursue you. Whoops, I got killed. This game runs on, uh, I think it was Galaxian hardware, and Galaxian hardware does not want to work well with MAME. So I had to uh, capture this with Bandicam, a uh, different program. I mean, it does not want to capture well in MAME. But yeah, you have plenty of time to get all the uh, small enemies before you leave the... Uh, the stage, or before the uh, walls can squ squish you. And this is the caterpillar room. Now if you let the caterpillars go around the screen for a while, they will turn into uh, 
butterflies. And the butterflies will actively pursue you, and they are annoying. And there they are. And I used a bomb there. I was able to kill all the enemies and buy myself a little teeny bit more time to uh, destroy all the small... Uh, the small enemies. As you get further in the game... Get away from me! Crap. <laughs> I killed them all. Killed all the small guys, but I couldn't leave the... Oh, all except one. Couldn't leave the room in time. And here's another bonus room. Yeah, each number is worth uh, 100 points times the number that it shows. And you can also collect extra bombs in that room. This is an okay game. Like I said, uh, this these are the... Uh, this is the propeller room, and I hate these guys. These cannot be killed. Except uh, except when you use a bomb. But yeah, like I said, you can hold down the fire button and point in any of eight directions, and you'll release a steady stream of rapid fire, which is great. Uh, but yeah, this game's alright. There, I, I killed more uh, propellers. Or, uh, uh, what were they? Yeah, propellers. There are only... Th uh, three more different types of stages, I believe. Oh, there, I lost my last guy. You get an extra life every 10,000 points. And now I'll put in my initials. We will look at the rest of the rooms. The remaining rooms are uh, the Cyclotron room, the Taz room, there, then there's another bonus room, and then there's one called the Hopper room. After that, all the rooms will repeat from the beginning, but they will have super added to the name. So it'll be like Super Face Room or Super Evil Eyeball Room. But uh, that's Tasmania by Stern Electronics in 1982. Kind of a fun game. Um, but again, you'll, you'll die if you get squished by those walls. But you seem to have enough time to kill all the uh, small enemies. Just learn the uh, movement patterns of the bigger enemies that are native to each uh, stage or room. But yeah, let's look at the rest of those rooms. And there's the Cyclotron room. They're kind of like the faces. The face room. Oops. They, mo they move maybe a little bit similarly. But we, we won't play through every remaining level. We'll just scoot forward and play the rest of the levels. I used another uh, bomb. Yeah, the bombs don't do anything to the uh, small enemies. Later on, as you go through the level, the enemies, the big enemies, can move the small enemies around. It's not that much of a big quirk to the gameplay. Now, this is the Taz room. You have guys that look like you, but they're red. And they actively pursue you. Whoops. They move in kind of herky-jerky patterns. But yeah, after this is the bonus room again. We'll scoot forward to me playing the bonus room. And yeah, you have enough room, enough uh, time to get at least some, uh, some points or a bomb. Oh, <laughs> just got out in time. And then uh, this last room is the hopper room. And you have guys that try to hop away from your shots. But yeah, even the stationary uh, enemies are deadly to touch. So make sure you destroy them before you run into them. But the enemies uh, later on in the game can move those uh, small enemies around. But again, after you beat uh, the hopper room then all the uh, levels repeat, or the rooms repeat, and they have a super... Uh, 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 the word super added to the beginning. Uh, super prefix was what I meant to say. I put on infinite bombs and infinite lives just to get through all these rooms, the remainder of the rooms. And here's the super face room. See, there's more of them this time around. And here's me, not making it through the, the room, letting the walls crush me. But you really have enough time. Skush. <laughs> but that was uh, Tasmania. 
That was Tasmania by Stern Electronics in 1982. Kind of a fun little take on uh, Robotron. Well, this is uh, Crazy Clown Radio saying thanks for watching Tasmania by Stern Electronics in 1982. Hope you have a good upcoming weekend, and I will see you later with my next video. Take it easy, folks. Bye-bye.